emulation can be a great way to explore art and learn about an artist and their own way of producing artwork. So here we obviously have a image that's inspired by uh, Salvador Dali and his painting Persistence of Memory. But instead of a tree form, it's been done with a dodo. And this has been for an alliteration connection. So I'm making some literacy connections with my students. So they can take any artist from history and do an alliterative animal in the style of that particular artist. So this is a Dolly Dodo. And they really deeply explore the artist's style, maybe a particular piece, which can almost become like a parody, uh, but in this case, we're calling it an emulation because parody implies making fun of something and that could certainly be a direction to go that can be very uh, motivating for students because students like to be a little irreverent in their work. That can be kind of fun. But um, I've done this with animals, but it can be done with almost any sort of subject matter. And I've actually written a few books on this. Um, two of them I have with me here today. Uh, one is called If Picasso Went to the Zoo, and the idea is that we had 50 art teachers from all over the world pick an artist from history and do an animal, an alliterative animal in that style. So we have a Henry Matisse Macaw, so it's done in his paper cutout style. So you could go through the ideas of art history and particular artists, put their names in a box and have students sort of pick, and then they can create an emulation based on that artist. Um, they can pick an animal, or um, it doesn't have to be an alliteration. I just chose to do that for the uh, sense of a poetry that, that we had created with this. So all the poems teach a little bit about the artist, like Jean-Michel Basquiat and the bison, uh, or buffalo here. And um, the poem also teaches about the animal. We also went a little further, and we talked about if the animals were thriving, threatened, endangered, or extinct. So the color of the leaf underneath each image tells you that. So we have a Warhol wal walrus, a Pollock pig, a Lee Krasner koala. So these books can be a great resource uh, for your students. I'll have a link in the description below if this is something you'd want to do. So we had another teacher do a Dolly Dodo. Um, this was my version that I had created. I have another book uh, called If Picasso Went to the Sea. And it's the same idea, but only it's uh, sea creatures. So we start with a uh, Picasso porpoise, uh, Edward Hopper horseshoe crab, Louise Nevelson narwhals, Henry Matisse manatee. And again, instead of leaves, these have seashells that tell us if the animals are thriving, threatened, endangered, or extinct. So um, this can be a great jumping off point so students kind of understand this idea of emulation, taking an idea like and a style like Henry Rousseau's work and then applying it uh, to an animal. So this one would be a ray. Uh, and we tried to pick artists from all over the world, uh, both male and female artists, so that the uh, examples you have available to you will be uh, balanced, like a Mary Mae Morris uh, and her Man of War and from different cultures, like Mr. Yoshikawa Akira and his anglerfish as origami. So uh, please look at that description below for a link uh, to the books and other lessons. Uh, like and subscribe, and we'd really appreciate that. Thank you.